G'day Legends, how are you going? It's the Laz here and welcome back to another, the not so long way round. And this one we go from our hometown in Leonora, Western Australia, all the way to the Northern Territory to see the big red rock Uluru. Unfortunately, from Leonora to Chukalara Roadhouse, the GoPro decided it didn't want to really work. So unfortunately there's no footage on the first day, however I did record the rest of the trip. So I hope you do enjoy. Now I will not be talking through this entire video, I'll only talk in key points and tell you little stories of bits and pieces here and there. Now as you can see this footage here is us leaving the Chukalara Roadhouse on our second day of travelling. The plan was to get to Warakuna, which is probably about 240 k's from the border. Unfortunately what happened was uh, someone decided to eat sushi and got very violently ill. So we ended up having to stay in Warburton which is another 240 k's down the road from here. It was quite a trip. In that 240 k's, it took us nearly five hours to do it. The road was quite rough. We had a very, very strong crosswind, which just blew us all over the road and was not very enjoyable to ride. And as you can imagine, being sick as well, having food poisoning, it's going to add to the disenjoyment of the trip. So we decided we'd stay and camp over in Warburton for that night. As you can see, guys, it is quite overcast, but don't let that fool you at all. It was actually really warm. And in this night, that night that we stayed there at Chukalara Roadhouse, I think we may have got maybe three, maybe four hours sleep if we were lucky. It was that uncomfortable. This was our first stop on the second day. We stopped along the road right near a sign that actually showed you and told you exactly where we were going, how many places we had to stop. Unfortunately, it did not tell you as to how far we still had to go. As we stopped and we took some photos in front of this sign, you'll see shortly saying the Great Central Road. And uh, I think I just about made Neil fall off his bike. Yeah, we had a bit of a laugh about it. I felt pretty bad. <laughs> see here guys we had a long way to go our destination today was Warakuna Roadhouse and we were stopping in Warburton for the night so we had a long way to go yet we still had at least 800 kilometers to travel as we were slowly pulling into Warburton only another 40 to 50 k's to go we ran into this random stretch of tar road, sealed tar road in the middle of the desert, which is normally dirt. It was just ridiculous and just weird and strange at all the same time. But there was some, you can't really see it in this footage at the moment guys, but there was some really nice rolling big sand dunes, big red sand dunes, it looked really great. And a lot of the times guys, the camera and the photos and the video just don't do this any justice whatsoever at all.
As we rolled into Warburton, this was our second day stop. Unfortunately, we were wanting to go further, as I did say earlier, but unfortunately, this is where we were stopping. We met some pretty, uh, pretty out there characters, and uh, one lady, unfortunately, I didn't film it. She thought she was on camera and just went absolutely, like, camera crazy. She was like arm around me and talking to me and telling me what's coming ahead, big sandy patches, you guys better be careful. I wish I had got on camera because it was a good laugh, but uh, unfortunately I turned it off because if you look to the, the top left here in this little sign, it says no camera, so I had to turn it off unfortunately. Our next day trip guys was probably one of the biggest, I don't know if you can tell there was a bit of sarcasm. We went from Warburton to Warracoona, it was only about a 240k ride and we did it quite easy, we were there by 1 o'clock. Uh, once again guys, it wasn't a big day, it wasn't actually really bad to be honest, it was quite good. Now, what happened here guys, the two other guys, they got a cabin, they stayed in there, I swagged it. About 2 o'clock in the morning I could hear something sniffing around my, my swag and I was like, what is that? So I opened it up, had a look outside and lo and behold, there was probably about 3 or 4 dingoes sniffing around. Unfortunately, I shoot them off. And a bit later on that morning, I could hear what I thought may have been rain on my swag. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was this little SOB right here taking a leak on my swag. So uh, I had a dog smelly, it was disgusting swag that I had to wash down with a bit of water and roll it up. So it was pretty rank. But uh, that was the only good photo I got of him. That's right, I got a photo of him in his wilderness there, guys. In town, that's right. <laughs> So unfortunately I didn't get any of uh, any good shots of the dingoes or anything out there. Uh, they were just always away because it was a bit warm during the day. So unfortunately uh, we missed those. So here we are guys leaving uh, Warburton for the day. And uh, what, like I said, a very, very cruisy trip to uh, Warracoona. Uh, the day had improved a lot as you can see. There's no cloud. Still, uh, still quite warm at this stage. It did start to cool down as the trip went in further. Uh, but at this point it was still quite warm and today was quite, well this, this particular day was quite an enjoyable day's ride. As we're rolling into Warracoona, it doesn't look like much at the moment, but those hills over there were very, very impressive. As we rolled up, coming into town, you'll see it shortly, these hills were awesome. The camera once again does no justice for these at all. It was, it was pretty cool. Like, you've seen hills and stuff, but when you're in the middle of the desert, it's flat as, and you're coming up, it's nice blue skies, and there's these massive, massive hill ranges. Even here, this just is no justice for those hills whatsoever. They were huge, and uh, it was just amazing. And this was where we stopped for our third night. It meant to be the second night, unfortunately, but uh, that's how things roll, I suppose. <laughs> we stayed here, and once again, we camped pretty hard, guys. I think we stayed in a house. I swagged it on the floor in air conditioning because it was still bloody hot. Um, so a big thank you to the people that let us stay there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways guys, we're going to leave it there. This was the first two, well, one, two and three days. Unfortunately, like I said, I do apologise for the lack of footage on the first day. You really weren't missing out on too much. It was quite a terrible, terrible day of riding actually. Uh, headwind, dust in your face. I wasn't going to see much at all. Anyways guys, I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to more. It does get more interesting. Uh, the day from here on, uh, we'll find some pretty cool stuff and see some pretty cool things. Anyways guys, leave me some feedback down below. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.